Hello, everybody, and welcome to A Story About My Uncle with your host, QED20. Welcome to a new Let's Play, or playthrough, or walkthrough, whatever you'd like to call it. Um, in conjunction with my Witcher 3 playthrough, which takes up a good chunk of time, I like to focus on you know, other shorter games that I can enjoy um, in concurrence with, with the main title that I'm currently playing. So, you know, as I'm working through The Witcher 3, I'll play other titles um, in anticipation of many other titles such as Dark Souls 3 or Rise of the Tomb Raider. So uh, I decided to pick a story about my uncle because it's been sitting in my library for some time and I've heard good things about it. It's a puzzle platformer sort of uh, game with a pretty good story from, from what I understand. So I figured, hey, what the heck, you know what? It's Saturday, I need to take a, bro uh, take a break from all my programming and graduate school work and do something else with my time. So I figured, hey, what the heck? Let's play this. So let's uh, let's give a story by my uncle a crack. So let's start a new game. Dad? Aren't you sleeping yet? It's time for bed, honey. Dad, I can't sleep. Can you tell me a bedtime story? All right. What do you want to hear? Something, something about an adventure. Hmm. I think I know just the thing. I have a feeling we're going to be playing that when story. I was your age, my biggest dream was to follow my Uncle Fred on one of his adventures around the world. One day, he disappeared. Oh, now we have control. Hello. I stepped into the lobby of my uncle's house. Uncle Fred? Just across the hill from where I lived with my mother, your grandmother. She had tried to keep me from going, but wanted to see see if Fred was home yet from his latest adventure so I wonder what era this is I'm trying to piece piece it together hmm nothing that I can really get from this photo it looks early 20th century sort of era Glastonbury oh, so it must take place in England or he this uncle might have lived in England Glastonbury is in England or Scotland I'm not sure it's in the UK there's a really great music festival there, but now I'm blanking as to actually which country it is. We climbed that cave for days. A petrifying journey. Uh, where is our uncle? Oh, this is neat. Daddy's helmet. Okay. Jet Cola. It seems to quite enjoy his Jet Cola. The new sports drink, H3O. Oh, wow. That's, that's not good for you. That's an acid. My uncle used to send me oh. postcards from his long journeys. Greetings from Nepal, Galapagos, Kilimanjaro, the Amazon River. This was the first time he had left without a word, without sending cards. That's strange. Suppose this is the tale of how we find him. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at that moon. What do we have here? Fantastic... Frederick's disposal system. Uh, does it dispose things? That's a strange looking sum. Anyway, um, I so have he's Uncle oops. Fred's house countless of times, but in a locker which usually was closed, I found something I hadn't seen before. Neat. It was an adventure suit. It resembled the one that Fred used, but smaller in size. Curiosity got the better of me, and I tried it on. It fit like it had been custom made for me. So, the most mysterious room hmm. of my uncle's house was the observatory. There he kept his newest experiments, and right now it held a pad used for disposing of garbage. So he wasn't just an adventurer. Me not to touch any of his things, but as I said. I was a curious child. He's also an inventor or genius of some sort. Uh, pull the lever to launch. Okay, let's let's go ahead and do that. Now I imagine I have to stand on this. Uh oh. What's going on? Oh. Well. We're going to be going pretty high up now, I imagine. I cannot tell what 
the relative velocity of what we are traveling at is. But that's it. That's the intro. Welcome to a story about my uncle. Intriguing so far. It set up the sort of mystery as to what's going on. Um, as you tried, as you recall the tale of you hunting down your uncle Fred. Now, I wonder if this tale is, you know, a real tale or what the, or just a story made up by this dad for his daughter. It ended with a crash, but thanks to the suit, I wasn't hurt. Uh, I had no idea where the pad had taken me. Yeah, neither do I. Back then, I didn't care so much about where I was going or how I would get home. This is really neat. Interesting environment. So we can hold shift to run. Okay. What do we have here? Oh, my progress has been saved. Excellent. The suit protected me from falls in the ground, but not in water. I couldn't swim with this thing on. Best be careful. Oh, this is really cool. Uh, I guess we'll have to jump down there. Oh, Geronimo! Nicely done. Anything down here for us to collect? He's obviously been here. Well, his uncle, that is. Strange alien planet. Or terrain. I, I don't know where this is. This is really cool. Ooh, cool. And let's do another power jump. I was sure that someone had been here before me. I wouldn't someone put it past that. Or put it past you. Symbols, but who? Not just that, but... I mean, you can see the evidence of his uncle being here because you can see... Oh, okay. Um, you can see all of the uh, all the trash that's lying around. Despite the... Yeah, the bridges are also kind of, you know, important too. There's obviously, you know, a society or something that was here before. Oh. I found a strange gizmo. Yes, I did. Measuring tool that Fred must have built. It Neat. seemed to be done measuring, though. So I took the results to give to Fred. That's awfully nice of him. Very thoughtful. Oh man. I was never good at platformers, but I guess uh, now's the time if ever to change. Boing. Oh boy. Okay. What's over here? Did we save? I guess it just automatically saved for us. Uh, I feel like I want to take a look what's here first. I don't think we can make it though. Maybe, actually. I had an idea. Yep, we made it. And what do we have here? How did you know Fred had been there? Well, I found a small campsite where Fred must have slept before going further into the caves. I Neat. knew it was him because the place was littered with empty packages of his favorite hiking foods. Canned soups, tube food, and instant noodles. Tube food? That sounds gross. Oh well, it's not that bad. <laughs> One winter, Uncle Fred and I went hiking into the mountains, and we were surprised by a blizzard. We were stuck in a small cabin for two days, and all we ate was tube food and cold canned goulash as well. Your grandmother was worried sick. I thought it was all very exciting. Oh man, this is really cool. Oh, oh, I jumped too far. Oh no. Oh no. Well, thank goodness for checkpoints. You know what? This. I, I have a feeling that what's going to happen is that we're playing through this the narrator's sort of uh, skewed account of what happened with him and his uncle. Clearly. He could not have gone, you know... Well, I don't know. Maybe this is more fantasy-oriented. We don't know that yet. But that's that's my theory, that this is this is his sort of, like, uh, childlike rendition of his adventures with his uncle, a family member that he must miss at this point. Maybe he's dead. Maybe he's gone. And uh, he's recounting it in a childlike manner for his daughter, so she retains that sort of wonder that only children have. So that's really exciting. Environments are really cool. I'm really digging it so far. Anything here? Nope. I wonder if there's a variety of these environments, or this is the only one that we see. What is this? The grapple device. Activated the suit's grappling device when I picked it up. Whoa. It must have been left here by my uncle. Ah, 
this could be so cool. There's going to be some great platforming in this game, I can tell already. Uh, what is this? When I'm in range to grapple, it'll light up. Oh. oh boy. Oh, you can grapple yourself along the floor as well. Oh, what is this? No, 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 no. Oh, too quick. So we can grapple onto that and then. Oh, there's something there. Ouch. Nope. Uh, maybe that. Yeah, there we go. Just left a sort of symbol everywhere I grappled. I noticed similar symbols already there in the cave, and I was getting more and more certain that this place was where Fred had gone. Woo! This is so cool. This is gonna be fun. Gotta let go and then fly on over. All right, and we'll land it. We'll stick it. Stick the landing. Oh, what is that? Is there anything important there? Yep, we found another one of Fred's devices. And can I make that? Can I make that? Can I? Nope. No, we're gonna have to take the hit. This is really cool. I've always been kind of a sucker for uh, physics-based portal ga uh, <laughs> physics-based portal games. Yeah, of course I would say that uh, for physics-based puzzle games. And if this one has a good story on top of it, then hey, this is a this is a strong contender in my uh, book of favorites. Oh wow! Combined power. Ouch. Uh, that got me nowhere. I think. The adventure suit was fantastic. No, it did get me somewhere. <laughs> okay. A power leap with the grapple. I could fly long distances through the air at great speed. Oh yeah. All right. What next? Where to? Um, let's go ahead and set that up. Boom. So I can grapple to like nearly anything. Oh, okay. So it doesn't have to necessarily, I don't have necessarily have to grapple onto things. They just have to be within a certain range. All right. Um. Platforming made easy. I almost missed that one. And we're gonna charge that up, go for a run. Oh yeah. This is so cool. This is great. I'm really enjoying this. I will. Oh, oh. I'm grappling to a moving object, but we'll follow along. Okay. Perhaps there's something up here. Nope. We're just. Oh. Found another one. Oh yeah. Uh, I don't know if we can get back up now. I have a feeling that if we find these, it's okay to die. I and mean, kind of the point of the game is to. To go off the beaten course, but we don't necessarily need to die because I survived. Uh, oh yes, so we want to use that to our advantage. No, it's too far. So I just need to make sure to grapple onto it as it's heading away. Yep. And thank you, Don Descript Flying Rock friend. You are now my new best friend. All right, let's uh, charge up or jump, go for a leap. And nailed it. All right, anything cool here? Checkpoints, checkpoint, checkpoint. Hmm. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Oh, I sh almost died there. It's all right, we didn't die yet. 
And holy cow. This is awesome. This is awesome. This is awesome. This is awesome. Come on, let me grapple. Let me grapple. No, 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 no. Uh need to get a little bit more momentum there. That is really cool. We get just the right amount of momentum to fling ourselves forward and actually land it this time. Excellent. And what do we have here? More of these symbols. That looks awfully a lot like a face. Maybe not the happiest looking face, but it looks like a face. Checkpoint again. And we'll stick the landing and be all right. Okay. That also looks kind of like a face. Maybe it's just me and Peridoyla. Peridoyla? I can never pronounce that word. You know when you make faces out of things that don't actually have faces? It's a really cool thing if you... I'll... I'll, uh, I'll hold that thought for now, actually. Oh, boy. And we landed it. Good stuff. Good stuff. I'd like to get back up on top there for a second. Just because I think that's a checkpoint, so there we go. Cool. Um, and now that way? Or do we go down? Was there something down here? There is nothing. Not even one of those little things that Fred likes leaving behind. Okay, let's get back up. Imagine the next step will involve... Uh, be honest, I'm not sure. I imagine it might be that. Yep. It's going to take us for a bit of a journey. So let's just hold on patiently. And go that way. Cool. So far, so good. These caverns are very vast. I do wonder who left behind all these symbols and... Well, in the context of whether this is a real event or a fabricated event that our... Oh, jeez, I forgot to jump. No! That our hero is telling his uh, his daughter. Either way, it's cool stuff. Oh, second power core. Now we can grapple two times before landing. Oh, this will be helpful. And... Boom. That'll be helpful soon. Ah, I see. Okay, so we have a little indicator on our palm as to how many times we can grapple before. Our grappling ability is no longer valid or working. So that means should be able to do that. Nice. So cool. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. I hear it. There it is. Snagged it. All right, checkpoint. You know what? I'm gonna end this video here, and uh, we'll continue another time. So thanks for tuning in to a story about my uncle. I hope you're enjoying it. I am actually finding it really cool and really entertaining. I love physics-based puzzle platformers. So tune in for next time, and uh, we'll continue playing. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching. It's been a pleasure. I'm your host, QED20.